What if you knew how to tap into a hidden pool of buyers that would be very motivated in buying your stock in the near future? This hidden pool of buyers almost guaranteed that there'll be buying pressure in the stock you own. In some instances, knowledge like this might be considered insider trading. However, the trick I'm going to share with you in this video, although you're tapping into a hidden pool of buyers, it's completely legal. If used properly, it can generate awesome cash flow in your account and increase your returns. In this video, I'm going to share with you some knowledge we had that let us tap into this hidden pool of buyers that enable us to generate a very safe, over 22% annualized non-leverage return on a very stable stock. First, I'm going to share with you all the details on the trade we did. Then I'm going to show you why it worked out so well for us. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can find similar type of trades by tapping into this hidden pool of buyers that can help you generate these consistent, awesome returns. Here you see this trade alert I sent out to my patrons on May 17th when we entered this covered call position in Verizon. Notice that we bought 100 shares of Verizon and simultaneously sold to open the Verizon July 21st $36 covered call option. This position ended up costing us a net of $34.92 per share. And by selling this $36 covered call option, we committed to selling Verizon at $36 per share at any point between now and the July 21st expiration. Well, what happened? Fast forward to July 7th, and as you can see here, Verizon was called away from us as a result of that $36 covered call option that we had sold. So July 7th, we sold 100 shares of Verizon at $36 per share. Notice that the expiration date of the covered call option we sold was July 21st. So this covered call option was assigned early, and that's exactly what we were counting on with this trade. Now, it wasn't that we would be unhappy if this position hadn't been assigned early. In fact, if it hadn't been assigned early, we would have been happy to stay in the position. However, by being assigned early, it let us increase our annualized return on this covered call position. Now, one of the beauties of this technique is that we actually entered a win-win position when we sold this covered call position back on May 17th. It was a win for us if it turned out the way it did, and it was also a win for the pool of hidden buyers that ended up buying our stock early for $36 per share. There's nothing like a situation where you do a trade and everybody wins. And that's exactly what happened with this position. Now, before I share the technique with you, let me give you a little bit of background information so you see how this trade set up. Here you see the daily chart of Verizon up until the day that we entered this covered call position. This yellow arrow is at May 17th, when we entered this cover call position. Notice that Verizon was trading for right at $36 per share. It had recently come down and appeared to be trying to find support at an area that had previously served as support for it. Now we did realize that there was the potential for Verizon to continue going lower because of the two higher volume bars on these previous two red down days. However, we felt confident that Verizon was a stable stock that if we entered a cover call position in it, we get nice premium up front and we'd be owning a stock that was generally very stable. Now we fast forward to July 6. This was the day when Verizon was caught away from us overnight. So notice that although Verizon did decline for a couple weeks after we entered this cover call position, it eventually did find support and then went on a nice run by advancing almost 10% because of this hidden pool of buyers I'm about to show you how to find. Here is how we knew to tap into this hidden pool of buyers that greatly improved the odds of us being successful with this covered call option position, all while putting nice cash into our pocket. You see, there's a whole trading strategy called dividend capture. And you've heard me talk about it on my channel and also my Patreon group. Now simply put, this is a trading strategy that focuses on buying stocks that are about to go ex-dividend and owning them just long enough to receive that dividend. So it's a timing-oriented trading strategy used by investors designed to collect as much dividends as possible. They like to buy these stocks right before the ex-dividend date, usually the day or two before the ex-dividend date, and then capture that dividend, and then generally they'll sell the stock afterward. This is the hidden pool of buyers that we use to generate this awesome return in our Verizon covered call position. There are two important things to check for when tapping into this hidden pool of buyers. Now it's preferable for the stock that you're doing a covered call position in to be trading right around an area that has served as support for it in the past and appears to be serving as support for it again. And here we see Verizon was indeed trading in an area that had served as support for it going back to the middle of March. Now this support ultimately did fail. However, the second important thing is what saved our trade. See, the second thing I like to see when I'm looking for these hidden pull of buyers is I like to be trading in a stock that has a very high dividend. And as you can see here on Seeking Alpha, that's exactly what we got with Verizon. Notice the dividend that it was paying when it went ex-dividend on July 6 was 65 cents per share. So it's paying an over 7% annualized dividend out to its stock owners. 
That 7% dividend is hard for a dividend capture trader to ignore. How do we find these opportunities like Verizon so we can tap into this hidden pool of buyers? Well, here are the five things that I look for. First, we prefer a stock that has been declining but appears to be finding support or trading right around a level where it should find support. Second, we want a nice big dividend like we see here with Verizon. Now, back when we did this trade, the dividend was just over 7% and now it's actually even higher than that at around 8%. Third, we want to sell a cover call option either at the money or even in the money if we want a little more protection. Remember, when we entered this cover call position of Verizon, we sold the $36 strike price cover call. But that cover call option was actually in the money when we did the trade. By selling that cover call option at the money or in the money, it gives us some protection because we collect maximum cash up front, which helps us if the position ends up going against us. And then fourth, we want to use the expiration date that is as close to after the ex-dividend date as possible. And the reason is that if the option is in the money, then there won't be much time value left in the option we sold. So traders who are looking to capture a dividend, they'll be really enticed to go ahead and assign that cover call option, thus hopefully improving our return and helping us cash out of position early. That cover call option that's in the money and doesn't have much time value left in it, is almost irresistible for dividend capture traders to pass up. They have to assign that cover call option so they can grab that dividend. And then finally, until you find this potential pool of buyers, just look for stocks that are about to go ex-dividend in the next time period that you're willing to trade in. Here you see that we've gone to the dividend section on Seeking Alpha, pulled up our portfolio, and then we sorted our portfolio by the next ex-dividend date. This allows us to pick a stock that we like the technical setup of it that has a dividend coming up so we can tap into this hidden pool of buyers that are looking to do dividend capture. Using this technique, technique of tapping into this hidden pool of buyers. These traders who like to capture dividends is a nice way to sell covered calls that can potentially be assigned early, thus improving your return, all while getting paid upfront like we did with our cover call position here in Verizon. Now keep in mind that there's no guarantees in trading. However, this strategy and this technique allows you to tap into a hidden pool of buyers that we know are there every single ex-dividend date that we can use to give them what they want, their dividend, but also pay us a really nice return if we're assigned early on the cover call position. And if we're not assigned early, then what's the worst that can happen? Well, then we get a dividend on top of the cover call premium that we received. As you saw with this Verizon position, just because we have dividend capture traders that are gonna swoop in and buy our stock, it does not mean that it'll be enough momentum to pull our stock up through our cover call strike price, thus guaranteeing that our cover call will be assigned. Stocks can also go down even when we expect them to go up. However, this technique does improve the odds of a stock responding the way we expect it to because of this hidden pool of buyers. If you'd like to get an alert when we do trades, like this cover call position in Verizon that I share with you in which we were able to pocket an over 22% annualized non-leverage return, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how we use covered call options every single month to generate awesome cash flow in return, check out the video series at the link above and in the description below entitled Covered Call Option Trading Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.